Howdy folks and welcome to Tiny Tent Show, episode number 26, featuring tonight the dynamic duo of Andy Noyes and Stevie Mateer. Uh, this pair performs together under the name The O Bros, which I think is a nice little nod to many different elements of the music they perform. And indeed, they incorporate a range of Irish music, of African music, of American roots, and certainly also the blues. They combine their voices, uh, several acoustic stringed instruments, and also various percussion instruments to create an exciting and unique musical experience. Many of you will recognize Stevie. He is uh, also known as a member of uh, the Different Drums of Ireland and lives in Washburn, Wisconsin. Andy Noyes, we'll do an interview at intermission with Andy, we being me, and I talked to Andy about how he came to the tent. And he didn't necessarily get his foot in with his guitar, believe it or not. But we'll talk about that uh, during intermission. Meanwhile, Andy performs as a solo artist and he also performs with the rock and reggae jam band Floydian Slip. Again, I like the names that these folks come up with for the bands. Uh, and as I said, at intermission, I will travel by internet to Nebraska and have a visit with Andy. It was a, it was, it was a really good, fun, and meandering talk, the best kind of visit. As ever, we are grateful to you for, for tuning in. Uh, we are especially grateful to our supporters and our sponsors. No getting around it. Um, we're at the stage now where things are not getting any easier. And every little bit that you can donate goes to support the creative team and the musicians that put together Tiny Tent Show. So we are grateful for your support to this point, and we welcome any additional support that can be pro provided. I know it sounds like I'm getting choked up. Maybe that'll work really well. I actually just kind of, I'm not sure what happened. I had a throat spasm there. But let's, let's pretend I was getting choked up and very emotional in the appeal. Hard on hand, we are truly grateful and, and do welcome any additional support. So here we go with Andy Noyes and Stevie Mateer performing as The O Bros.
All right, tiny tent land. We're uh, called the Obros. And a weird thing about it is this is the stage 10 years ago, pretty near to the day that uh, we had our first gig. And we've been playing together ever since. We did, yeah. We, we also met on this stage. That's yes. correct, we did. A band that I used to play with um, had the great, there we are, the great good fortune to play up here way back in 2001, many, many moons ago. And Andy was our sound guy. And he turned out to be a really sound guy. So... Uh, when I came back, it was only natural that we would end up playing together. And it was here supporting Dave Mason, wasn't that who it was? Dave yeah, Mason. Dave Mason opening act. That was it. And we have only very rarely looked back. So this is a wee song about a place that uh, pretty near to where I grew up in. And it's about a woman called Rosie McCann, who was known as the flower of the county down. So is anybody out there called Rosie McCann? Make yourself known to us, because I've never played a gig where there was one who went, I'm called Rosie McCann. <laughs> so Rosie McCann, stand up and take a bow. This is called the Flower of the County Down. Banbridge town in the county down on an evening in July Down alone and sweet came a girl so neat that I smiled when she passed me by Looked so bright with the leper's light as the lip of a springtime here Where the coaxing elf had to shake myself to make sure I was really there From Scrabble Hill to Lister Dill and from Comfort in your town There's the girl so neat as the damsel sweet she's the flower of the county down as she onward sped, well, I shook my head and says I to a passerby. There's a maid so sweet with the twinkling feet, and I waited for his reply. Well, he smiled at me, and he said, says he, that's a gem of all Ireland's crown. Watching Rosie McCann from the banks of the pond, she's the flower of the county down. From Scrabble Hill to Lisna Dill, from Comfort and Newry Town. There's the girl so neat, there's the time so sweet, she's the flower of the county down. All right! Well, I shook my head to side to a passerby. There's the maid so sweet with the twinkling feet, and I waited for his reply. Well, he smiled at me, and he said, says he, that's a gem of all Ireland's crown. That's your Rosie McCann from the banks of the pond. She's the flower of the county down. From Scrabble Hill to Lisna Dill, and from Cumbert and Newry Town. There's the girl so neat, that's a town so sweet. She's the flower of the county down. A bit, but I never was hit since my Roman career began. Fair and square, I surrendered there to the charms of young Rosie McCann. Had a heart to let, but no tenant yet did I meet within Shawler Count. But then she went, so I asked no rent from the flower of the county down. From Scrabble Hill to Lisna Dill, and from Cumbert and Uri Town. There's the girl so neat, that's the town so sweet, she's the flower of the county down. All right. The tell of a comfort in your town. There's the girl so neat, there's a damsel so sweet, she's the flower of the county down. At the crossroads fair, I'll be surely there, and I'll dress in my Sunday clothes. With my shoes shone bright and my hot cock right, for a smile from the nut brown rose. No pipe. 
Don't bow, smoke, no horse, I'll yoke. Don't be toy with roast turns, pal. Till my eyes smile and bright like my own fireside sets a star in the country down. From Scrabble Hill to Lisna Till, and from Cumber to Newry Town. There's that girl so neat, there's that town so sweet, she's the flower of the county down. From Scrabble Hill to Lisna Till, and from Cumber to Newry Town. There's that girl so neat, there's that town so sweet, she's the flower of the county down. From Bantry Bay up to Derrick Cay, and from Bowie to Dublin Town. No made out scene like the sweet Colleen. that I made in the county down. We, uh, we don't normally use set lists, but on this occasion we made an exception, which means that uh, I have to keep on looking at it and think about what we were supposed to do. And this next one is uh, all about alcohol. So we figured it's Friday night or Friday evening. It's happy hour. What else would you be doing with yourself except setting yourself up with a drink? So we thought we would do our little alcohol medley. We put a wiener tunes together and uh, they all have the alcohol as the thread. The first one is an old um, American or, or, reel. Or Satan. Or Satan, yeah, well, that's true. Um, aye, so the first one's an old American reel called Whiskey Before Breakfast. And then we put it into a song called Mackle Hatton. And that song's all about a patching maker who had the audacity to die on his community and he left them all bereft and without a drink. And we figure if you're going to have whiskey before breakfast and you're worried about a patching maker dying, if you make those kind of lifestyle choices, you'll end up, before too long, being a friend of the devil. So we put these three songs together and we'll see if we can get through them without stopping. Usually we can, but not all the time. So hopefully this will be one of the lucky ones. So here it is, raise a glass. This is the alcohol set. <laughs> Revels Glen, there lives a man who some would call a god. He can cure your shakes, and a bottle of his stuff would cost you thirty bucks. Come winter, summer, frost all over, jig and spring in the breeze. In the dead of night, a man steps by Michael Hatton, if you please. Oh, Michael Hatton, your blood, we need you. Carmelian shaking men. Where are you, sex of body? Would your legs be seen again? There's a jig to the man and a reel to the drop and a swing to the girl he loves. May your fiddle play and watch it kill your company up above. There's a wisp of smoke to the south of the clan and the pachin is on the air. You're the birds and the burrows and the rabbits in the sky and there's drunkards everywhere. That scary's rock the foxes out and big God is chasing a hound. And the only thing in decent shape is buried beneath the ground. Oh, like a letting your bird, we need you. Cry a million shaking men. Where are you, sex of body? Would your legs be seen again? To the man and a reel to the drop and a swing to the girl he loves. May your fiddle play and patch and cure your company up
Maggle Hatton's house, the fairies are out and they're dancing on a hub. Sure, the goats collapsed and the doggos run away and there's salmon down the pub. He has a million gallons of wash and the peelers are on the cliff. But they'll never catch that hackler, cause he's not coming home again. Oh, Michael and your blurt, we need you. Cry a million shaking men. Where are you, sex of barley? Would your legs be seen again? There's a tick to the man and a reel to the drop and a swing to the girly load. Will you fiddle play and punch and cure your company up above? Magalatin, you blurt, we need you. Cry a million shaking men. Where are you, sex of barley? Would your legs be seen again? There's a tick to the man and a reel to the drop and a swing to the girly loves. May you fiddle play and patch and cure your company up above. I up from Reno. I was trailed by 20 hounds. Didn't get to sleep that night till the morning came around. Said I'd run, take my time. A friend of the devil is a friend of mine. I get home before daylight, I might get some sleep tonight. Well, I ran into the devil, yes, and he loaned me 20 bills. Took my in a cave up in the hill Said I'd run it, take my time A friend of the devil is a friend of mine I get home before daylight Just might get some sleep But I went on down to the levee, yes But the devil, he caught me there 
took my twenty dollar bill and it vanished in the air. Said I'd run, and I'm taking my time. A friend of the devil is a friend of mine. I get home before daylight. I'm gonna get some sleep. My heart's delight. Second one is prison, babe, with the sheriff's on my trail. And if he catches up with me, I'm gonna spend my life in jail. I got a wife in Chino, yes, I got another in Cherokee. First one said she's got my child, but it don't look like me. Said I'd run, take my time, a friend of the devil is a friend of mine. I get home before daylight, I might get some sleep tonight. I lit out from Reno, I was trailed by 20 hounds. I didn't get to sleep that night till the morning came around. Said I'd run, take my time, a friend of the devil is a friend of mine. I get home before daylight, I just might get some sleep tonight. the alcohol medley. Ah, we have an ode to the reptile brain at this time. Wrote this, um, I don't know, I don't know what, it, these, these images, these things just come to you as a writer and you just accept them and say thank you, but uh, this one I was out in the Black Rock Desert at a little party called Burning Man. And uh, this one came out of my brain, or it came through my brain. Again, I think they're just offered up to us, and if we get the butterfly net, we catch them. We, we got them in the boat, and we can make a song. So, yes, turn your reptile brain on. Get yourself in a reptile state of mind. Like a serpent in the Garden of Eden I got a hole in my soul and it's time for a feeding Tonight is the night if I get it right I'm gonna let that reptile Now sleep is a hobby you don't do well Your mind's dismantled from a TV spell Your view of the world is the price is right And you are what's eating up you tonight You are what's eating up you tonight Well, don't look now, I gotta let Drone, it's time for this one two phone home. Time to drive to the great unknown beyond the reach of my better half grown. It's a slippery slope, it is a dangerous curve. It's time to tweak the buggy nerve. It's time to tweak the buggy nerve. Don't look now, I gotta let that reptile. to the man that holds your leash. Dive on in, we gotta swim this beach. Are you in the 
the moment are you out of time are you put on this earth to dig up dimes push the button y'all turn the key life's too short now don't you see life's too short no no don't look now i gotta let that reptile Serpent in the Garden of Eden. I got a hole in my soul, and it's time for a feeding. Tonight is the night. If I get it right, I'm gonna let that reptile die. Let that reptile die. Let that reptile die. Let that Reptiles landed. Hey folks, I hope you're enjoying the show. Thanks again to our supporters and sponsors. And a reminder, if, if you can find it in you or have the ability to pitch in, uh, again, it goes to support the musicians that you're seeing performing and the folks you're not seeing who pull this all together, edit it together, set up the stage, do all that work. If you can pitch in, it would be most welcome. So, by internet, let's head out to Nebraska where Andy Noyes was waiting to talk to me this week. Well, I'm welcoming in Andy Noyes, and um, you're, you're talking to us today not from Bayfield, Wisconsin. Where are you, Andy? Um, just uh, on the eastern edge of Nebraska on the Elkhorn River, visiting some family, taking, uh, taking advantage of this beautiful fall weather we're having to, uh, to visit outdoors as we do now. Yeah, we, uh, we just had uh, a wonderful day here and um, well of course it's still mid-afternoon but it is one of those days when it seems like the colors the temperature the sun everything meets up and it's it's one of the reasons you get hooked into living here through the winter <laughs> that la last little shot of melatonin or whatever the drug is we go oh i can do this <laughs> yeah <laughs> wrong but we never learn hey uh, no. start out just with your history, uh, how you came to your big top. You have a, a long history there. And in particular, I'd love to hear about you uh, working there back in the days of the trailer. Oh, my. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it goes back uh, actually to 83 with with uh, Washburn Centennial. We kind of, uh, our technology and our services got hooked up with the troop back in 83 for Washburn Centennial. Then that begot the the Bayfield show, the Bayfield Centennial that begot the tent. So we were kind of on, on the train early. Um, so yeah, there I was sitting uh, um, with a couple other audio partners um, mixing the very first show on opening night in 1986. And uh, that was my office for about another 20 years after that, front of house, mixing front of house, occasionally on monitors, but um, and then the touring and, and uh, yep, 10 show radio coming along and, and being put into a nice special little trailer, a little camper um, for a lot of years. Um, and uh, yeah, it was, it's been a heck of a ride, but, but uh, yeah, those, those early years of kind of just going, well, let's see if anybody comes to the show tonight and tomorrow night. And anyway, yeah, it's, it's been, uh, we had to inflate the dream quite a lot, kind of had to keep, keep the pump on it for a while uh, until people caught on and it's been a great ride. I love that phrase, inflate the dream. <laughs> <laughs> a lot it of was us, on the ground when we started, you know. <laughs> and I think a lot of us are in that area where we've been doing this for a long, long time, grateful to be doing it. But there's, there's a lot of inflating the dream over a long period of time. I mean, <laughs> like right now, there's definitely you're having to re-examine how you're doing this thing, how you're approaching it, and uh, everybody's looking for ways to keep the dream inflated, it seems. Indeed, indeed. So, if I'm just 
recollecting on the fly here, which for me is notoriously unreliable, but I'm thinking I saw my first Big Top show as an audience member, I want to say around 2003. So by the time I was there, they already had a, a separate building that they were doing the mixing and recording in. Um, you mentioned a trailer. You're, you're literally talking a camper. And also, I'm thinking of nights when it was windy and stormy and what it was like to be mixing in a camper. Oh, yeah. the Yeah, it, it was the, the whole weather gambit, as you might imagine. But yeah, uh, it was a donated, probably about a 22-foot travel trailer, you know, camper, the old hardtop camper um, that eventually uh, Mark popped a... Uh, uh, an air conditioner unit into one of the windows, shoved that baby in there so he could survive because one of the mainstays of it was sitting in the sun all day long uh, before it got dark and that baby would heat up like, like a can of beans and then, then it would just slowly cool down. So at any rate, yeah, that and, and all, just the crazy weather events and, and wind events. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, it, it had a charm. <laughs> farm yeah that's a nice word you could you could also i suppose re refer to it as a, a mobile recording unit yeah yeah like the rolling stones and such yes <laughs> yeah um so what about just your path to be becoming uh, who you are a musician uh, someone who who knows how to run a board where where did that come from was that a, a lifelong thing did you come to it late was it part of your family upbringing just um yeah, it was surely in, in my family environment, although no professional musicians were were really rolling around early on, but music just had a profound effect on me. That I could tell. When I was in the presence of live music as a child, I often would be emotionally overcome and I didn't really know what to do with that, but I would just find a dark corner and kind of stay in the music envelope, but, but weep, typically, uh, be, to be very honest. And, and so I could tell it had a profound effect on me. Um, uh, we had a pian my mom was a piano teacher, um, among other, um, other, other influences, but yeah, that, but I was a visual artist and I went to college and this music thing was coming on strong after late high school, picking up guitar and, um, after being a piano kid for a long time, at any rate, um, music just became more present and, uh, became my path around then. And I knew at that time I needed to grow that garden a little more carefully. So I didn't jump in feet first professionally as a musician, but that's when I took up um, professional audio services, um, recording and, and live sound mixing and so forth to sort of insulate or buffer my, my nurturing of the music career. So it put me kind of feet first in music, but it was through the audio channel and helping other musicians achieve what they needed to creatively. Uh, then, yeah, 20 years hence, I really needed to break out and, and, and play full time and teach uh, music and so forth full time. So that's, that's where the, the departure from audio happened. Um, so two things come to mind. Uh, one is when you mentioned you, you wanted to go to the music, but you knew that you needed to, you said insulate yourself, which is a great way of putting it. But I'm also, if you're talking insulation, we're talking wiring and we're talking about more than one wire. And boy, I've had a lot of conversations in the last six months with artists and we're talking about how there's a very corporate term called multiple revenue streams. But, oh, yes. uh, but it's also very <laughs> reality for a lot of us who are self-employed artists that it's good if, you know, like my books do okay, but they don't do, they don't sell enough and I can just sit back and collect royalties. Got to keep other things in the air all the time. And uh, I wonder if maybe you can speak to that, uh, that your, your various backgrounds and equipping yourself with that audio knowledge to supplement your musician knowledge, how that's played out over the years. Yeah, certainly. And, and, and uh, up north, I call it many, wearing many helmets, <laughs> um, many hats. Uh, yeah, um, it's keeping all those doors open and, and seeing who, who or what walks through each one and and uh kind of serving that and uh and it's a balancing act between keeping your creative focus you know your 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 focal point and your focus uh to your sort of your mainstay calling which may not pay the rent all the time so yeah it's a it's 
it's quite a path. Um, and, and what I also appreciate about that uh, is the cross pollination of that inspires, you know, you sort of, it's, it's a garden with a lot of things in it and you water it in a lot of different ways and it gets sun at different times and darkness at others. And so, yeah, for instance, when I'm teaching, I, I'm just knocked out about the process of learning, but then I realize, oh, but it's, you know, but I get to teach music. So I'm doing the music thing and the music dog is happy. It's well fed yet. I'm able to help other people with that journey too, or um, when playing music, that to me is a very medicinal act. Um, and so I kind of get, it's a back and forth that way, hopefully too. That's a good long rambling answer, I hope. I'm a good long rambling guy. Uh, <laughs> I was telling people I made a living going off on tangents. Um, good point. But the other, the, the second thing that occurred to me while you were talking, and I, sometimes you can really overanalyze this stuff. Um, Sometimes you know, people ask me, where did the inspiration for that piece come from? And sometimes the answer is uh, a four hour deadline and fear is where it came from. <laughs> so I don't want to overanalyze this and it's okay if you say uh, that there's nothing there, there's no there there. But I'm, I am interested, you, you mentioned that you started out in the field of visual art. And I'd love to hear about the interrelationship uh, between what you see with your eyes and in your mind and what you hear and what you create as a musician and if what the interplay is there, if any. Sure. Um, and summed up so well by Joni Mitchell in, as Shadows and Light. Um, so we, we, we're, we're, we, are, we are such visual critters uh, that shadow and, shadow and light inform us emotionally immensely. Um, so kind of navigating the, the sonic world with that in mind as a palette, but um, as well, I love to go to art museums and just walk through and I just find my mind just, you know, if you could see, you could see it on the electrodes or whatever it would be zinging, because I really feel the emotions coming through those visual, uh, that visual stimuli. Um, so yeah, you know, in a way, one can close their eyes while they play or improvise and, and, uh, you're, you're navigating that sort of internal realm of, of shadow and light. I think there's... Putting it into music. Sure. And I think there's a... I'm going to take a chance here. I don't, I don't know words as well as I maybe should. Uh, but if I'm using the term correctly, synesthesia, um, when I write, certain words have definite shapes, colors, textures. And so for me, writing sometimes is very much a visual process. I'm seeing a word. And I know that I've heard musicians speak to that, that they see sound as color and light and shape. So I would, I yes. I'm well set up for that. Yes, indeed. Yeah. I, um, and I think, you know, it was through studying or, or the words and sort of impressions of, of jazz musicians kind of were able to, was able to, help me move there, you know, as John Coltrane or, or Miles Davis would describe things to, to the mortal world, um, the muggles, uh, that helped me translate that. Yeah, that's what I feel. It's purple, you know, or whatever it might be. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's, uh, I think that's fascinating. And, and I love how these things unspool. And there's always that balance between craft, I mean, learning about the nuts and bolts of what you do and then letting uh, that s support all the more ephemeral parts, I think. Um, given a, a chance to just uh, take a stage, how, in what form do you enjoy? And, and I'm not going to say in which form do you enjoy taking it most. I get asked most questions a lot, like what's your most favorite book you wrote? And it's like, no, they're like children, they all evolve. Uh, but where, when are you happiest on a stage? Well. When, when, when it's expressive music, but uh, when it's also music that I feel I'm really called to be playing, music that, that resonates within me and within, you know, the, those who are gathered to experience that music, I guess. Um, uh, so when I feel that kind of, uh, that, that very visceral connection and, and sort of, uh, um, circle is completed. I can feel the audience and they know that 
or they're they're experiencing the music that they came for, and I'm there aiding and providing that. Um, then I can just close my eyes and put my head back, and that that's a happy place. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I think uh, we've covered some fascinating little tangents, as I said before, uh, and I really appreciate your time and. I appreciate you taking time out of family time in Nebraska to check in with us. Um, I just wanted to bring, this is complete silliness, but I love really uh, uh, well-chosen website URLs. Can you share the URL for your website with us? Well, yeah, it was a gift uh, by a friend of mine. We were sitting around brainstorming and she said, bring the noise, no yes. yes. And it was like, sure, uh, thank you, Kelly. Um, but. Uh, yeah, we, we we were gearing up to, uh, my, my wife and I went out on a year-long intentional national house concert tour mm -hmm. um, in in the the 19-foot um, camper van that's to my right over here um, that is our home sometimes. And so we took a year to live on the road in North America and and play in people's living rooms and backyards and so forth. And that was a very intentional thing we needed to stir it up to get a brand going mm -hmm. and so the brand literally became tour to friends um because we were networking a lot with friends and and uh but yeah bring the noise so it was sort of like bring this experience to your home mm -hmm. if that explains all that well enough it's perfect i i just as i said that's that's pretty deep trivia there but i enjoyed it i want you to know good. It. good yeah you got one on the hook there that's right well, thank you uh, so much again for taking the time and thanks for all. I have this theory that every note that's been played in the Big Top and of course any other venue, but especially I think the Big Top because of where it's located up on that hill overlooking Lake Superior. I just have this theory that every note played there is still echoing in the universe. And that's coming from a guy who was raised by loggers and farmers, you know, so I really mean yeah. that. Feel that. And I, Part of my thank you to you is the the part that you've played in so many of those echoes that are still out there. Thank you. Uh, no, I, I I agree. That really resonates, and every note counts for something bigger in that place. I don't know it, and and it's evident to the particularly to me the artists who come visit there who maybe have never played there before, and they're they're a big deal, you know, on in, on a major level. And they come there and they're like, oh, this is why I play music. I can, you can just feel it. And those notes count that much more. It's a value added moment, I guess, for the creative types. You bet. But yeah, I agree. All those, all those, if those trees could sing, you know, <laughs> all around. Sometimes they, they provide low harmony. I think so. Yeah. I always played it like it matters, or do play it like it matters there. Um, when I was mixing all that, the, the reverb there, just the way the sound rolls up the hill and through the trees, that was my favorite, re is my favorite reverb in the whole world. Yeah. If I could bottle that, anyway. <laughs> well, I look forward to the time when you're, you can come uh, back from Nebraska and actually uh, join a whole bunch of us in the tent there. But in the meantime, thank you for all you've given, and uh, we will talk to you down the road. Okay, very well, Michael. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Take care. And now back to Andy and Stevie on stage performing as the Obros. This is a this is an old tune. The melody um, goes way back to the early uh, 1700s. It was actually first used for a Scottish Highland regiment called the Gallant Forty Twa. And the melody's been in, in pretty much in constant use ever since. And this is a, a 1980s variation of it. This is a song called uh, Sally McLennan. pub where I was born, played it from the night time to the peaceful early morn, to the souls of psychos and the man who had the horn, they all were pretty happy in the morning, now Jimmy didn't like his place in this world of ours, for 
Elephant men broke strong man's necks when they had too many powers. Sad to see the grieving of the people he was leaving. Took the road for God knows in the morning. We walked him to the station in the rain. Kissed him as we put him on the train. Sang him a song of time long gone, though we knew that we'd be seeing him again. Sad to say, must be on my way. So buy my beer and whiskey, cause I'm going far away. I'd like to think I'd be returning when I can. The greatest little boozer and to Sally McLennan. The years went by, the times have changed, I grew to be a man. Learned to love the virtues of sweet Sally McLennan. Drank the beers and took the cheers and walked back home at dawn. Sure, I ended up a barman in the morning. Played the pump and took the hump and watered whiskey down. Talked of hers and horses to the men who drank the brown. Heard it said that Jimmy's making money far away. Some people went for heaven with a warning. We walked up to the station in the rain. Kissed him as we put him on the train. Sang him a song of times long gone. No one knew that we'd be seeing him again. Sad to say, I must be on my way. So buy me beer and whiskey, cause I'm going far away. I'd like to think I'd be returning when I can. The greatest little boozer and the Sally McLennan. All right! Jimmy was surprised when he found out that they were gone. He asked me all the details of the train that they went on. Some people are scared to croak, but Jimmy drank until he choked. Took the train for God knows in the morning. We walked up to the station in the rain. Kissed him as we put him on the train. Sang him a song of time long gone. No we knew that we'd be seeing him again. Sad to say I must be on my way So buy me beer and whiskey cause I'm going far away I'd like to think I'd be returning when I can The greatest little boozer and the Sally McLennan We walked him to the station in the rain Kissed him as we put him on the train Sang him a song of time long gone Though we knew that we'd be seeing him again Sad to say I must be on my way So buy me beer and whiskey cause I'm going far away I'd like to think I'll be returning when I can The greatest little boozer and the Sally McLennan The greatest little boozer and the Sally McLennan All right then, I think we got through that one okay. Nobody noticed. <laughs> Not so you'd notice. Is it all right for you? Yeah, much better. Sound all right out there? All right. All right, this next tune was written by a really good friend of mine and it was made famous in a way by a band that I used to be in. Well, I say used to be in, I'm kind of still in it. We had a a reunion gig last September in Derry, in Northern Ireland. And uh, what happened was we recorded this song and then about a year after we recorded it, a woman came up to us and said um, that she was from the, the Smithsonian Institute and asked us could they use it on one of their um, Folkways CDs. So we thought about it for about 10 seconds and said, yep, okay. <laughs> so this, is, this can be found in the Smithsonian. It was written by a fella called Peter O'Hanlon and it's a song called Northern Man and it goes nearly like this. I 
was born on the border Father from Tyrone My mother Donegal And I heard the talk on both sides of the border Think by now that I might have heard it all I'm a northern man From a northern plan From where I stand I'll see a northern land from where I stand, I'm a northern man. Always for my thoughts so free. Free to decide if decisions need be made. Change my mind and it's a lesson to me. Don't know how I learned, but change left me afraid. I'm a northern man from a northern plan. From where I stand, I'll see a northern land. From where I stand, I'm a northern man. Northern man from a northern plan. From where I stand, I'll see a northern land. From where I stand, I'm a northern man. And I tried to change as the times did Learn to see another way and still be who I am My heart and my soul are united They both agree that I'm a northern man I'm a northern man from a northern land From where I stand I'll see a northern land from where I stand, I'm a northern man. I'm a northern man from a northern plan. From where I stand, I'll see a northern land. From where I stand, I'm a northern man. Here's this fucking healing song for you all. <laughs> Don't play the drums to frighten the children. Don't sing us songs of winning and losing. Come sit down beside me. The green fields are bleeding. Sing me the music of healing. Sing me a song of a lover returning. Darker the night, the nearer the morning. Well, bring me the news of a new day that's dawning. 
Sing me the music of healing. Ah, the hearts I wonder, stronger than the guns of thunder. Even when we are torn asunder, love will come. Sometimes the truth's like a hair in the cornfield. You know it's there, you just can't put your arms around it. All you can hope for is to follow its footprints. Sing me the music of healing. Who would have thought I could be so contented to learn I was wrong after all the me rambles? I've learned to be hard and I learned how to tremble. Sing me the music of healing. Now the hearts of wonder, stronger than the guns of thunder. Even when we are torn asunder, love will come. Right as the cycle of vengeance keep turning Till each other's sorrows and songs we stop learning Now peace is the prize for those who are daring Sing me the music of healing Time is your friend, it can heal all your sorrows And I will not wait for another tomorrow Just take one step now Thousands will follow, sing me the music of healing. Ah, the hearts of wonder, stronger than the guns of thunder. Even when we are torn asunder, love will come. Even when we are torn asunder, love will come again. Love will come again. Love will come again. piece uh, that I wrote called With a Dreaming Eye. When at first I'm tempted to laugh and again I resolve to cry I'm pressed to deliver an answer And I turn to ask the sky Pause for a moment to listen As the color bursts through my mind I'm frozen in the state of believing That our truth's gonna come with time I don't know what happens and sometimes I don't know why All I know is I'm lost in you and I'm leaving myself behind While I'm happy I will walk beside you in the green room as well alone No matter how late that time is I will always know we have grown
that the world can give us Forgone are its rigid lines Yes, believing is good worth receiving More precious than the worship done Gonna show me that you know the answer Beyond what you think to speak We reach to one another through our hearts And the circle is incomplete All right, Tiny Tantland. This is a, the last one we're going to do for you, just for this time anyway. And uh, it's a song about all sorts of stuff. It's about fishing. It's about love. It's about loss. Everything in three chords. There's only the Irish kids. Yeah. So anyway... I wish you well on this Friday evening, and I hope whatever you're doing, it brings you joy and happiness, because life's too short for anything else. There's a song called Fisherman's Blues, and it goes something like this. Tumbling on the sea Far away from the dry land And its bitter memory Casting out my sweet line With abandon and with love No ceiling bearing down on me Except the starry skies above Light of my head you in my arm Wish I was a brakeman On a hurtling feet of train Crashing headlong into the heartland Like the cannon in the rain With the beating of the sleeper and the burning of the coal Counting town flashing by And the night is full of soul Light of my head You in my arms Change that all hung around me All the way at last On that final fateful day I will take thee in my hand I will ride on a train I will be a fisherman with light of my head You in my arms Woohoo! 
Thank you, friends are. and neighbors. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. And don't get too drunk. And if you do, at least fall on something soft. Be good to each other. <laughs> well, folks, that is our Tiny Tent Show for this evening. A big thank you to Andy Noyes and Stevie Mateer, the O'Bros, for a show that was everything I, I hoped it would be. Some tremendous musicianship there. Um, and also... A very specific thank you to our sponsors, Jim and Joy Perry, Brownstone Pharmacy, Washburn Hardware. And again, if you can join these sponsors, we would certainly welcome it. Uh, until we can sell tickets to the real deal, it's what keeps this little tiny tent show in production. We miss you, but we're going to see this thing through. We uh, hope that you're taking good care of yourself. We hope you're taking care of your neighbors, and we hope your neighbors are taking care of you. We're grateful for your time and attention, and it is now time to say, as we do, where I'm from, not goodbye, not to bid you adieu, but rather to say, well, I suppose, forward. Stop dancing around like that. We're on TV now. Okay. Howdy, folks. Just checking in right here at the end to see how many of you noticed that way back there at the beginning, I said, hard on hand.